Welcome to the Gorilla 6 video series. In this lesson, syncing a screenplay, we're going to learn how to re-import your screenplay into Gorilla if you make changes to that screenplay. One of the most requested features we received was a way to sync a screenplay. So the scenario is if you've imported a screenplay and started to break it down, even attach shoot days and enter your cast and crew, and then changes occur in the screenplay, what do you do? Before Gorilla 6, you would have to make changes in Gorilla manually or start from the beginning. With Gorilla 6, you can re-import your screenplay and choose the modifications for each scene. For this lesson, I'm going to use two FDX files, which are available to you in the Sync Screenplay folder. So first things first, let's import the first draft of the screenplay. From the Project Manager, select the New or Load Schedule button. Then select the Import Load Screenplay button. Then select the Import Screenplay from Hard Drive button. Enter a name for the schedule and click OK. On the next screen, click the Continue button. Now I'm going to select the Sync Screenplay folder to select the sample screenplay for this lesson. Notice there are two FDX files in here. If you open them up in Final Draft, you will see the difference between these two screenplays. OK, I'm going to choose the first one and select the Choose button. And this will import the screenplay. Now, I'm not going to make any changes here, but you can add elements to this schedule, create shoot days, create actors, etc. All this time, unbeknownst to us, the production team, the writer, is revising the screenplay and a few days later sends us the new FDX file. Next, I'm going to open the revised FDX file in Final Draft to take a look at it. This file here, Norman Revised Notes, will tell you what was updated. So in scene one, Norman was added with some dialogue and the page length was increased. In scene two, a new character was added, Moses, with some more dialogue. And scene 2A is a completely new scene, and so on down the list. Take a close look at scene 3 in the notes. It states that some elements were tagged that were not in the screenplay. They were kitten, puppy, horse, and buggy. You can't see them in the screenplay. They were tagged in Final Draft Tagger. These added elements will come into the schedule. Okay, let's import the changes. Select the Sync Screenplay button. This tells you that the screenplay file must be an FDX file, which is a Final Draft file. It also recommends that you save your schedule before you perform a sync. We are okay here because we did not make any changes to the schedule. Next, click the Import button and locate the revised FDX file. I'm going to select the revision in the Sync Screenplay folder. And when the import is complete, you will be taken to a comparison screen where the existing or original screenplay is on the left and the new or revised screenplay is displayed on the right. Anything that is colored is a change. From the legend, you can see that some elements were updated or added here, and a new scene was added here. You can select to update or sync one scene or all scenes. Before I update the schedule with the revised FDX file, notice the note here that states that the update is based on scene number. The screenplay on the right compares by scene number to the already loaded screenplay on the left. If scene numbers were completely modified in the revised screenplay, the sync will not work properly as it compares scene 1 to scene 1, scene 2 to scene 2, etc. And it will display and add new scenes like 2A. I'm going to select Update All Scenes. 
When it is done, notice that nothing is colored anymore on the right. Let's close this window and take a look at what we have. Remember, Norman was added to scene 1. Here is the new scene, scene 2A, and here are the added elements to scene 2. Remember scene 3? According to the notes, three new elements were tagged, kitten, puppy, and horse and buggy, and they came in along with their related categories. Peruse the breakdown sheets closely to make sure everything came in properly. And that's how you sync a screenplay. That's a wrap. Have a great shoot.